Okay, hello! It's a very dang good day. My name is Sofia Luki. Moya imia ya Sofia Luki. And today we're going to be doing a art uh, kids craft or an art workshop for kids based on the Ukrainian fable called the Mitten. Now, if you haven't seen the Mitten or if you're not familiar with it, we did an original animation for the festival that you can find on our YouTube or our Instagram. And if you watch that, then this craft will make a lot more sense to you. But we're gonna get started. Okay, so I'm gonna speak a little bit in Ukrainian, just a little bit, and that way we can learn some fun words today. Uh, so me budemo malyuvatsit varena. We are going to paint some animals, and we're also going to make our very own rukovitska, rukovitska or mitten. All right. So what do we need? Što nam potrebno? We need prijaja or yarn. We need a black marker. We need papier. And I'm using cardstock, which is a thicker paper, but you don't need to use cardstock. You can use printer paper. And we are going to need a hole puncher. And if you have one of those single ones, that's actually even better. And we'll need some barba or some paint. So I usually use to-go containers for all of my paint. Um, I usually, we're gonna use acrylic today. I don't know if you've ever heard of acrylic paint, but acrylic paint is basically like plastic. So it dries really quickly. So let's get started. So in the story, The Mitten, a little boy Kolya is walking through the forest and he drops one of his mittens. And all of the animals in the forest, or at least a den, dva, tre, cetere, piat, si, si, sis. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six animals make a home in this mitten. So the mitten, as you can imagine, stretches out big and big and bigger to house all of these animals. So we are going to make our own version of that. So we're going to start with two pieces of paper or papier. Now, what is the shape? We're going to draw a mitten. What is the shape of a mitten? Is it the one with all of your fingers? No, it's the one like this where all of your fingers make a little home together. So let's start with creating our very own shape, mitten shape. And we want it to be really big so that all the animals can fit inside. Okay, so there we have our mitten shape. Now I'm just gonna draw on some designs to make it look like it was knit. Like Baba or Grandmother knit us some mittens. So you can do this, but you don't have to do this. See how I just added those? All right, so we still have our two pieces of paper. Two pieces of paper. Now we are going to cut both of them out. So we're gonna get the exact same shape with two pieces of paper. Okay, so now we have our two mittens. And what are we gonna do with all of our scraps? Throw them into the garbage? No. We're gonna recycle them. Okay, so now we have our mitten. We need to sew these two pieces together. How are we gonna do that? Well, we are going to use our hole puncher and we are gonna punch holes into the border of the mitten. So all along the edge, we're gonna punch holes into it. But we're gonna leave this part, the bottom part open so that when it comes time for it, we can open our mitten and sneak all of our animals inside. So they'll go in there and this will all be closed. So now you're gonna take your hole puncher and you're gonna go along all of the edges.
All right. So you see how I'm going around along all of the edges like that and you're gonna go continue on all over like that and then you're gonna leave this with no holes so for time's sake I've already done one we are going to use our thread or our piaja in Ukrainian and we are gonna sew our mitten so first thing we're gonna do is we are going to tie it into one end and then we're gonna knot it because we don't want it to come out. And you might have to knot it a couple of times. And now we're gonna go all the way to the end. And just like this, we're gonna go all the way in through that back. So we're always gonna be going like that. So now we're coming out of the front. We're gonna go put it in through the back. So we're gonna put our string or our yarn, piaja, through the back. All right. All right, so we have gotten through our entire mitten, which is very exciting. So now we're gonna cut off all of this extra string. So you, I wanted to make sure I had enough string, so I made a really, really long piece. So I'm gonna cut off about there so that I can make a few knots to make sure that holds, so just like that. All right, I made a few knots, and you might want to get an adult to help you with that as well. And then I'm just gonna cut off this extra piece. Bye-bye. Okay, so now we have our Ruka Vitsi. But this looks awfully white, right? And just like in the story, Kolya has a very white mitten, and the reason he loses it is because it's so white, it gets lost in the snow. So we want to maybe make ours a little bit brighter. So what is your favorite color? Is it jolte or yellow? Is it purpurave, purple? Is it sine, blue? My favorite color is cervone, red. So I am going to make mine red. But if you notice, I didn't say paintbrushes were a part of this project because we are gonna be using our fingers, but only the tips of our fingers, only the tips of our palsy. So I'm gonna dive right in. Okay, so now that we've got a bright and fun, colorful rukavitsi or mitten, we can set that aside and we're gonna let that dry. So we're just gonna leave that for now. We're gonna leave that over there and we're gonna let that dry. Okay, so now we need to make our forest animals that find a home in the mitten. So we're gonna use papier again. And mine's a little bit thicker. And just like we did with our mitten, we are going to use only the tips of our fingers to make our animals. Now, Sophia, that sounds crazy. How will we get the details in? Well, we are going to use the tips of our fingers. We're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna use our black markers and make outlines. Now, how am I going to use my finger to create a fox shape? Well, believe it or not, I am just gonna make a circle because our fox is gonna be sleeping. So I've just made a shape and it's a circle and we're gonna let that dry now. 
because we're gonna think about what we wanna do for an outline later. So we're just getting the general shape of our animals, or trobarera. Now we're gonna move on to our Mishka. And our Mishka starts our story off. She's the first one that goes into the, into the mitten and finds a home. Now we're gonna do our Volk, or our Wolf. Now a wolf is gonna be a little bit harder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all four of the finger my fingertips and I'm gonna make him some legs. So I'm just gonna take four fingertips and we've got our Volk legs. Then I'm gonna make his head and then I'm gonna make his body. And we're just doing the general shape just with our fingertips. We're just doing the general shape because we're gonna go in with our details later. We are gonna do our soroka, which is a bird or magpie. And so those have what color on them? They've got black, yes, but they also have sine or blue. So we're gonna start with that. And I'm gonna do just like I did with the wolf, with the wolf. I'm gonna make the tips of my fingers blue. Okay. So now I am going to make the wings. Now we have to move on to our zaychik, which is our rabbit. So what color is a rabbit? We could do white, but because we're using white paper, Maybe that won't be the best, or maybe it will. What if we used our, the white of our paper to make our zaychik? We're thinking smarter, not harder. So maybe we'll just leave our zaychik and we'll do an outline. But what does a zaychik have sometimes? It, a zaychiks often have a pink nose. So how do we make pink? with red and white. And just with the tips of my fingers, I'm gonna use my pinky finger because it has to be very delicate. And that is gonna be our Zychik's nose. And that's it, that's all we have to do for Zychik. So we have a black bear. And have you ever seen a picture of a black bear or even seen one in real life? They kind of look a little brown, so we might mix our brown and our black together to make our red mead or our bear. Okay, so now, how do we make our red mead? Well, we really want him to, to look bigger than the other animals. So we're gonna make his body big. So I'm gonna use a lot of paint for red mead, for bear. And I'm gonna do as a head pretty big. And I'm gonna do his little veg meat ears, his bear ears. And then I'm gonna have him sitting, so I'm gonna have his feet like this. And his hands like this. His arms like that. Alright. Two, four, six. We have all of our mitten animals. Okay, so now. We are gonna let that aside and let it dry. Okay, so we have let our animals dry. They are all dry and ready to be drawn on. And there's our little Zychik nose, our little rabbit nose. So now we are gonna take our marker and we are gonna fill in and add the details of our animals. Okay, next, we have our sleeping Lysitia, or our fox is sleeping. So I'm gonna do the ears, because we are turning a orange blob into a fox. 
and we'll do sleeping eyes and here's the body and there's the feet and then foxes have big tails right so we're gonna do a big fox tail moving on to magpie All right, we are gonna move on to Volk. Volk has those pointy ears, which we couldn't really do with our fingers. So we're gonna make them now. And a sort of pointy face, right? Now we are going to do Ved Mead, or our bear, and we are going to go all the way around his face. going to go to our rabbit next so we are going to start off with the nose and we'll go like that and, go like that. and we'll do our whiskers of course and we'll do our eyes and then rabbits have long ears so we'll do long ears There we go. And then we'll do the body. And we'll do what is what do what what kind of tail does a rabbit have? A big puffy tail, we'll do a big puffy tail like that. Alright, and then we'll do the little paws and we'll do little legs on the side. Okay. So we have all of our animals. We have our Liz who's sleeping, or our fox. We have our little Mishka, our mouse. We have our Soroka, or our magpie. We have our Volk. We have our Zaychik, our rabbit, and we've got our Vedmid, our bear. So now we are going to cut all of them out. We have our Lissitia, our fox. We have our mouse. We have our bear. We have our Volk. We have our magpie. And we have our Zychik. Okay, so now. Right. So now that we have our animals, we're going to put them safely in our mitt that is already dry. So there we go. So we can sneak in all of our animals. We'll start with our mouse. Then we'll go to our fox. And then we'll go to our, hmm, who should we go to next? Volk, our wolf. And then we'll go to our rabbit. And we are going to go to Magpie. And we're going to go to Ved Mead. And there's also a squirrel in the story. And there's also two people that need to fit in this mitt. So you could also do two people. You can do as many animals as you want. You could do a turtle or a beluga whale. Could you imagine a beluga whale in a mitt? Crazy. Crazy. 
and you've got all of your tvarene or animals in your rukavitsi or mitten. So I hope you've enjoyed this art activity. We have another one coming out as well, a Ukrainian inspired art activity. For that one, you're gonna need either Play-Doh or air dry clay, or you could use magic, model magic, and we're gonna go through some Ukrainian foods. So we hope to see you next time. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and YouTube, and thanks for watching. Thank you.